Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're from. J. Rowe here, host of Big Hair Hits. Every Monday, 8 to 10 p.m., AlleghenyMountainRadio.org with another board game review. The Magic Labyrinth. I haven't seen too many videos on this, maybe like four or five on YouTube, so I thought I'd make one here. Picked this up at Target at, for $20 on Waynesboro, Virginia. And uh, it was marked 25 on the shelf, and it rang up 20 so just keep quiet, you know what I'm saying? So here we go, Magic Labyrinth, good for kids and adults. Let's see what we get in the box. Uh, manual, thin, because there aren't too many rules, I and mean, it's very simple. Lots of uh, pictures to demonstrate how to play the game, and uh, the artwork's really nice, you know, kind of kitty looking, but uh, even so. Pretty cool, right? And now uh, let's go into the game, see how this works. Now, what you get is uh, the game board, main board here. I got it set up for two players already. Uh, you get one die, and it's wooden, and uh, you know, whatever. And a whole sack of these tokens right here, okay? Now, uh, note that the die only goes up to four, just so that you're not going all over the board forever, right? And makes sense. And what you do is you have a bunch of these, and we'll lift the board up, of these wooden little tiles here, and they uh, come in and out rather easily. Let me just uh, demonstrate. See, just pull it out. Just pull that out, boom, and you just put it back in. No big deal, right? And uh, you know, and this comes out, so you can do it on a table if you want, which I prefer. You just take your tiles and you just pop them in there, pop, pop, pop. And all the players can watch you do that, which is fine, because once you put the board on, uh, before you start, have everybody stare up at the ceiling and you just spin it around a bunch of times, you know, boom, 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 boom. And even, I like to even take the board off when I'm done and just kind of spin it around a bunch of times, put it there, and you are ready to play. Now, the object of this game is to find as many of these tokens as you can you pull them out one at a time what I like to do is with new players I like to keep four of those wooden tiles out so that's more of a beginner game and say we gotta find three of these tokens right and then uh, once we get the hang of it if you still want to play we use all the tiles and say we gotta get you know five tokens or you can change it around you can start with five on easy and then go for three for hard or whatever and uh, technically this is a me against you type game, but you can make it co-op by just setting a timer for like five minutes, whatever, and however many tokens you found together, uh, it's a combined score. So there you go. So I, this is how it works. Uh, let's lift the board up again. You can see there's a metal ball stuck underneath the play piece, right? And the reason it's stuck there is because as you move your piece around, if it knocks into one of those wooden pieces there, it'll fall off as such. See, there's one right in front of me right there, so I'll do it on purpose. Ready and go. See, and you heard it go thunk. And like in, uh, if you play pool and whatnot, it'll uh, lead down to your corner. And if it doesn't lead down to your corner, you just stick the end of this piece, find it, and there it is, just stick the end in there. There it is, pow, and uh, you just, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but let's try it and go, 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 go you. Well, let me put the camera down for a second to reset the piece. There we go. All right, my bad. So there we are again. Now, here's what it looks like when it doesn't hit anything. You just kind of move. You just go, whoosh, just like so. So let's start. Over again, what you do is you pick out a token out of the bag. We'll just grab this one. And was that a feather? And let's find it. Okay, fine. Now you might think that this guy has an advantage, but you know, he might be surrounded by walls. And you pick who goes first. Fine, we'll just say green, whatever. Boom, three. And you just move three. One trick to this game, though, is if you move slow enough, you can kind of feel the piece of wood underneath there. So if you're playing with adults, you say, once you start moving, and you feel that, that's whatever, you gotta keep going. See, I don't feel it here, so I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, fine. Um, 
But little kids, you know, that might be a tough rule to give for little kids. So you make them point. You say, okay, where are you going to point? Okay, I want to go right there. And then let them move. Fine. And then, uh, you know, I can move three. One, uh, let's see, I'll go this way. Two. Oh, so far so good. Uh, three. Nope. I hit it. So there it goes, down there again. So I go back to start, collect the thing, whatever. Roll the dice for the other player. Well, we got one. All right, well, let's see which way we can go. Oh, nice. Okay. Now it's green person's turn. Here we go. Now, again, I got to put the camera down. But to avoid putting the camera down again to collect the ball, because I need two hands to do all that, you know, you just roll, la di da, one. Boom. Roll. See if I can get it. There's a token. One. Two. Got it. See? And uh, there we are. And then you just grab another one out of the bag. Let's say this little ying yang doodad right here. We'll put him right there. Pow. And uh, here we are. And then technically he had one more step to go. So we can play that way. Oh, no, didn't get it. But uh, that's how you play. You just reset. You just grab the ball. You reset. Put it under the board. Boom, 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 boom. Fine. Uh, that, those are all the rules. That's how you play. Really fun game. Again, you know, people can cheat if they feel the wall, then go back. So you just make a rule. Once you move in a direction, that's where you're going. Bam. Little kids, make them point. Move them over. Fine. And again, you can make it co-op by just making a time limit. And how many tokens can we get off the board in five minutes, ten minutes, whatever. Because some people don't like me against you. Like Battleship. Uh, I played somebody in Battleship who's never played before and... I won and it's, you know, I didn't celebrate or anything, but kind of turned them off from the game. So, Magic Labyrinth, highly recommended, pow. And uh, one quick thing, I don't recommend that you leave those in the slots because they fit rather snug, which is fine. But maybe over time, if they're still in there, they might get kind of loose. So I recommend when you're done playing, take them out. It only takes a minute a minute to set them back up. No big, no big deal. And uh, everything fits in the containers very well. You can just throw the sack in there and all the pieces and whatnot. And the bottom of the box functions as, you know, part of it. You know, part of the play field, which, you know, takes up less room. So there it is. Again, Magic Labyrinth, highly recommended for kids and adults. AlleghenyMountainRadio.org. Big Hair Hits, every Monday, 8 to 10 p.m. Peace.